guys welcome back to the channel in this video i will update you about the solana price action i will discuss the short term and also my longer term view make sure that you like this video and if you want to take your trading towards the next level then check out my trade signal group first link in the description or just scan the code on the right side of your screen i am trading solana on bitget and bitget is a non-kyc exchange it has some of the cheapest trading fees compared to other exchanges and if you sign up through my link in the description you can claim up to five thousand US dollars in bonus rewards and also 15% discount on all your trading fees and you support the channel as well so make sure to go to bitget if you want to trade or buy solana so this is the four hourly time frame for solana i'm using the binance chart here and my view is still the same guys i still think the bear market low was in here on the 30th of december at eight dollars since then we moved up very impulsively to impulsively to the upside and right now we are consolidating here around the 22 23 dollar region what is pretty interesting to see here on the solana chart if i grab a trend line here from off the swing low we have made here on the 18th of january compared to the swing low from of the 9th of february so from of today we are forming this higher low structure and if we take a look at the four hourly rsi from of that same point um that's around this point here i believe what where was it the 18th 19th 18th of january yeah 18th of january and if we go to the rsi from of the 18th of january on the four hourly time frame that's around here we can actually see that the rsi is creating lower lows clearly visible here on the four hourly rsi so this is a hidden bullish divergence and this is signaling that the uptrend here will continue further to the upside so this is actually a very bullish signal um, so i think the trend will continue further to the upside we are still creating higher highs and higher lows uh, but yeah it's absolutely critical that we stay above this swing low from off the 18th of january at 20 dollars so if we drop lower from off this point there is very strong support around 20 dollars for solana and if we lose that level as well then there is also very strong support located around the 18 towards 17 dollars for solana so keep those levels in mind if we go higher from off this point the first area that we need to break through is located around the 25 dollar and if we do that then we could uh, get very quickly towards 30 dollars that's definitely possible and around 30 dollars i do expect major resistance for solana because if we zoom out here to the daily time frame you can actually see that if i draw fibonacci retracement from off the all-time high towards the bear market low you can actually see that the 0.382 fibonacci retracement level is coming in play at $30 and previously around we got a lot of support on top of this region uh, back in June 2022 all the way towards October 2022 and also back in 2021 a lot of support around this $30 region so do expect a lot of resistance if we go higher possibly a pullback then and then further continuation upwards that's at least what I am thinking let's go back to the four hourly time frame <clears throat> So yeah, in terms of the indicators, momentum is pretty oversold and it looks like a buy signal is about about to flash here on the four hourly momentum indicator and if this happens this could definitely uh yes bring the solana price action uh, up a lot so that's good to see rsi on the four hourly time frame pretty oversold also sitting at 37 so yeah a lot of space to grow higher in price stochastic rsi also um yeah moving down still on the four hourly time frame so yeah we could experience maybe a little bit more negative price action or bearish momentum uh, but yeah let's see how that will play out in the next few hours and days macd on the four hourly time frame still trending down but we are also oversold here so i think the downside potential in the imminent short term is fairly limited if we go that lower from off this point then the 20 dollar region will provide a lot of uh, support but it's possible that we will trade sideways here before we will see that massive move towards the upside for solana so that's my view in the short term let's also take a look at the longer term view i'm gonna go to another chart here because there is more history on this gate io chart and if we zoom out here you can actually see that uh, Solana, since the bear market started here back in November 2021, we were trading in this parallel channel to the downside. A lot of touch points 
this channel was respected very well by Solana, but just recently around we broke out of out of it. So we have officially already broken the downtrend, but a break above $30 would even be more of a confirmation. So that's very bullish to see. Uh, my longer term view is still the same. I still think that from of July 2020, we moved up in five waves impulsively to complete the larger Elliott wave one here in um, blue. Since then we moved down in an Elliott wave two correction. And right now we are already at the beginning stage of this larger wave three to the upside. That view still remains the same. Um, yeah, on the daily time frame, momentum is still pushing down. RSI sitting around the medium line and stochastic RSI is oversold here. And the MACD indicator is still trending down. So yeah, I think a big move is about to come very quickly for Solana. I think the trend is still up. I wouldn't short here. I think um, you should only look for potential long positions or to DCA for the long term. But this is not financial advice. Do your further research before investing into Solana. So yeah, that's my quick update. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next Solana update. Bye bye.